hello. I am Jaden from Jaden's World, but today I am going to be in here in one of the videos from Ding's workshop, and Ding is technically my dad, so I am pretty much doing this picket fence planter for Mother's Day, and I got this stuff from Home Depot, so let's get started. In case you didn't know, Home Depot sends out free kits the first Saturday of every month. Inside, they also have a pin that you can stick on here. See how much I got? Thank you, Home Depot. On, on this instruction manual, it says to place these two little square pieces like that. And then we need to apply a little glue. How do you use this thing again? Thanks. I'll show you how to do the second one. I'm using Gorilla Wood Glue, so you might not be using the same, but it'll probably turn out the same. Next up, I need to stick these two on here. Whoa. Over. And now it comes to the hammer part. Now I need to nail the pieces together and then let the glue completely dry. And then I'll, help let, I'll let it completely dry. Out. The proper way to hold a hammer is like this with one hand like this and another hand holding the structure so that you can nail the nail down. So as you can see, my nail is in place. making some of the basic parts. So then it says... Okay, that's ready. Four nails, remember. Four nails. It'll be kind of like nailing the side, but... Okay. Not coming out. Next nail. Okay. Let's do the next side. You take it. Nope. this fence. Now let's fast forward so you can do the next by yourself. One other thing to mention, you also have to flip it over so that you can put the other side of the fence over there. So, let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I already finished making some of it, so... to the pots. Twist and lock them together. Drop them into the project. I think I know what it means. And then we can apply the stickers. You don't really have to put them in the way that they say, but I believe you can put them in any order you wish. making the flower pot thing. There are also these things. These are the type of signs where you can stick them into the soil and write down what type of plant that you have in there. So you can put them in when you have a plant. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So I hope you had a great time, learned some things. If you forgot how to use a hammer, you hold at the far side of the handle. Well, you hold at the far side of the handle with your dominant hand. For me, it's my left hand and you also hold your project and then start hammering the nails. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in Jane's World or Jane's Workshop. And bye bye.